I want to make sure that we talk a little bit about grants, because this is something that you impressed upon me and a number of other writers that I don't think enough writers know enough about. And that's just how many grants are out there and available. So when did you become aware of grants? And I know you teach a whole course on it that we're not going to get into here, but what are maybe just some quick tips you give for writers who need to go out there and get grants to help fund their writing? Yeah, so like I said, I went to uh, the World Horror Conference uh, convention in uh, 2002. Um, it opened up my world, and all of a sudden, and I came back, you know, all excited, and and I was, you know, telling my wife, I have to start going to these. You know, this is where it's at. This is what I have to do as a as a creative, and and to get to that next level as a writer. And uh, and her response was, hey, you know what? The first one can come out the family budget, but you know, if you want to do this on a regular basis. You know, you have to figure out how to do this off of your uh, off of your own writing, and so uh, so one that's when I started. You know, aiming for strictly strictly professional markets moving forward. So it's like I need to only sell to places that could get me paid, and then uh, and so you know that led to me going to more and more conferences. But then the other thing that fueled me being able to go to conferences was uh, applying for different uh, uh, grants that were available for emerging artists. And so one of the things I tell people is like, so many of the major cities have uh, their own arts councils. Uh, I know we have the Art Council of Indianapolis here. Um, so you wanna look at that. Uh, look at the local humanities chapter, like for, like I said, for us, it'd be Indian humanities, you know, what, what kind of grants do they have going on? And then the state itself will have uh, uh, an, an arts commission. So we have the Indiana Arts Commission. So what, what grants are available there? Um, then there's just plenty of uh, other national networks that, uh, that you know, cause, but basically once you start going down, the, once you become aware of the fact that grants exist um, for, for, for artists, then, uh, then it's just like researching any other market. And that's why I, I tell people, it's just like, it's no different than researching a market and then applying, uh, and then creating your story for that market, right? It's the same sort of process. And so, uh, you know, so I, I researched the markets, figure out what, uh, um, what the, some of the best ones are for me. And then I also just keep one ear to the ground. I have, I have several friends who they are constantly researching grants too. I, I was just scrolling right before this uh, podcast. I was scrolling through uh, Facebook and then uh, I, I made it, I saved a couple of posts because some buddies of mine had just said, hey, these here are two grants that have just popped up that I'd never even seen before. I'm just like, oh, these are brand new. I'd never seen these. And so I'd like, made a note so I'm like let me go I'll go back and research those more thoroughly uh, down the road because you know I won't be able to do do more as an artist <laughs>